Wall Street Journal is slamming Cincinnati's stadium deal, calling it lopsided and risky. It was supposed to boost the economy and give taxpayers a bit of a break, but the journal points out that break may never come. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is live at Paul Brown Stadium after talking with some angry fans. Sayed? That's right, Clyde and Carol. The taxpayers approved a tax hike to fund the construction of these two stadiums, but only after being promised a tax break. That was 15 years ago, and tonight that projected payoff has yet to be seen. In fact, the debt that the county is facing for these stadiums continues to skyrocket. And the fans I spoke with today say they have just one question. How could county officials let this happen? Paul Brown Stadium and Great American Ballpark, two of downtown Cincinnati's most popular establishments. But even these crowds can't bring in enough money to cover the massive debt the stadiums have cost Hamilton County. The cumulative tally of a deficit will exceed $650 million unless something is done. A burden that won't fall to the NFL or MLB, nor the Bengals or the Reds. It's being passed down to the taxpayers. It's an agreement the Wall Street Journal is calling, quote, one of the worst professional sports deals ever struck by a local government, soaking up unprecedented tax dollars and county resources while returning little economic benefit. It's a statement current Commissioner Todd Portoon isn't denying. I won't argue that point at all. Um, the county commission that was in place at the time this deal was done uh, did not. Uh, negotiate a, uh, a, a tough deal on behalf of taxpayers. Taxpayers were not protected, uh, have been put at risk. The owners of the team should be paying for more of it because they get all the revenue. Why should us taxpayers who don't go to games pay for it? The taxpayers um, should not be held accountable for the sports teams. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are paying taxes that never go to games. You know, they're never going to go to games. And I don't think it's very fair on them. And what we've done over here with Paul Brown Stadium, in my opinion, is one of the biggest mistakes that we've, we've ever done. Now, Commissioner Portoon is spearheading an effort to push the burden back onto the leagues and the owners. If that fails, he's also gathering signatures to put an issue on the November ballot that would call for a ticket tax as opposed to a property or sales tax. Now, the article from the Wall Street Journal has a complete breakdown of all the financial issues behind the stadiums. If you'd like to see it, you can log on to our website, WCPO.com. Clyde Carroll. All right, say at Shabir, downtown live for us tonight. We're tracking.